Um, it's, for me, it's very special to have Janine Mohammed, um, a great nursing leader and the CEO of the Congress of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander nurses and midwives with us today and to perform that very warm acknowledgement to country on behalf of APNA and our peoples gathered here today. And Janine, thank you. And I'd also like to thank Brian for his uh, very warm welcome. I think you can expect a lot more corny jokes over the next two days. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with Brian, but more importantly, we're going to be able to capitalise on his wealth of knowledge over the next few days. Now, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this, our eighth national conference. I always have to count on fingers and toes where we're up to and what venues we've been but it is our eighth national conference. And uh, we are celebrating here nurses as the heart of primary health care. I extend a warm welcome to our dignitaries and our guests, and we are delighted to have attracted such a wonderful array of international and homegrown speakers who will contribute to the nurses the heart of primary health care over the next few days. I welcome you all, and most especially, I welcome you, our members. We've had a great start to the conference, and we have, with, particularly with our pre-conference workshops, and we have nurses here from all over the country. We also have a large number of PHN project officers who have come along, and we're delighted to have so many of you here networking and celebrating in, time, in primary health care today. And I know I say this every year, that you will be noisy, and we expect you to be all as noisy as ever. Now, the theme for this year's conference came about as we reflected on the enormous growth and change in primary health care, particularly in the last few years. We see nurses not only as the drivers of change and expansion of health care service delivery, we see nurses as the pulsating heart of primary health care that gives life force to primary health care and that can actually get things done. We've seen the membership of APNA diversify, and this adds to the richness, the picture, and the voice that APNA puts forward on behalf of primary health care nurses. We also see nurses wanting to be part of our organisation because of an alignment with their own personal values, a desire to be members and belong to a strong, supported network of like-minded health professionals. So what are some of the things we know about primary nurses, uh, primary healthcare nurses? We know that their numbers are getting bigger. And we know that according to the most recent registration data, over one in every two health professionals registered on APRA is a nurse, and one in every eight of those health professionals works in prime, is a primary healthcare nurse. Nurses are early adopters of uh, technology, and uh, we know that from the Northern Territory experience, because they've analysed their e-health record, that nurses upload the most electronic documents. And we expect that to be reflected as we move into the My Health Record era uh, with, with, with more force. This time last year, we welcomed the Honourable um, Susan Lay, the Minister for Health, to our conference on the Gold Coast. And prior to that, APNA had been working really hard beside, behind the scenes, lobbying to build the profile and better recognition of that pulsating heart of primary health care, the nurses. The minister's attendance was a recognition of the work of the primary health care nurses. And shortly after the conference, the minister announced funding for the largest body of work in APNA's history. And that work is designed to build capacity of primary health care nursing workforce and funding to support that important work until 2018. And I know that you'll hear much more about our projects and um, pilot programs over the next few days. I think one of the really important things to note is that there is a real thirst for innovation in primary health care. And when we called for applications for our transition to professional practice pilot program and the enhanced nurse clinics that will be running over the next couple of years, we were completely overwhelmed with responses. We were subscribed five, six times over the number of not just nurses, but practices putting forward their practices and their nurses for those programs. 
This fits well with a shift in focus to upstream care. That's one of the principal aims of primary health care and a greater focus on prevention, not only just chronic disease management, but integrated care between sectors and health teams. We can see the adoption of the recommendations from the Primary Health Care Advisory Group, of which I was an appointment to that group, where we, we saw the recommendations accepted for healthcare homes and the pilots to be rolled out in 2017. Another one of those recommendations included greater support for flexibility in utilisation of the workforce and supporting health professionals to work to their full scope of practice. There will be exciting opportunities, and might I say, and it makes sense, for the uptake of enhanced nurse clinics to better manage access to, to care and resources. And we know that not every patient at every visit needs to see a doctor at every appointment. And in the briefing that David Malone and I were invited to at the department last week on healthcare homes, they have already identified that 59%, which is terribly precise, but 59% of practices already identify as employing a team member as a care coordinator, and predominantly that care coordinator is a nurse. We are seeing greater numbers of graduate nurses choosing to make primary health care uh, their first career choice. And exposure to primary health care and nursing curricula continues to improve. And APNA is connecting with students and working alongside universities to promote this as a viable and compelling career choice. We also know that nurses have an expectation that their work will provide personal and professional satisfaction with better acknowledgement of their contribution and career development. And for all of us as nurses and as a professional body, representing you, we need to put that on everybody's radar. Other nurses, GPs, managers, employers, and in particular, policy makers. The federal government has acknowledged this as an important need in 2014-15 period, where we saw government funding for the development of a career framework for nurses working in general practice. The 2000 15 to 2018, the federal government has funded APNA to extend and develop the career framework with a toolkit that will apply to nurses in the broader primary health care sector. And consultations have commenced already and we will be seeking your input. We know that so many nurses are making a contribution to the health of our nation. And this year, we will also see a change in the format of our APNA awards to highlight nurse expertise and the difference that you make to primary health care. The new format will better recognise the contributions to primary health care nursing, such as leadership, clinical excellence, advocacy, and inspiring nurses and other health professionals in primary health care. And those awards ceremony will be held this morning. Importantly, nurses know the practicalities of how health programs are implemented on the ground, in their workplaces and dealing with real people, our patients. And I, as I've said before, um, we want to see more nurses participating in that helicopter view of primary health care, sharing their knowledge but also having some input into policy development, whether it be locally in your local communities at PHN level or as um, in a more formal representational uh, capacity. Now there are nurses here from every state and territory, from the most uh, remote to the inner city, and I think this reflects that we are truly a national organisation. I know last year that I told the Minister that we um, nurses were embedded in every community. And afterwards, I thought, well, oh, it kind of makes us sound like a 60 Minutes crew on special ops duty with the SAS. But I actually think that's how we really are. We're on the go, always assessing the environment, planning, adapting, changing, with a camouflage kit packed full of innovation in care and resources. And nurses are more than just the glue that holds everything together. They are the pulsating heart and the commando role experts in primary health care. 
You, the nurses in this room, are a strong and capable workforce and will take back knowledge and skills that you've learned over the next few days to your local communities. And I see this conference as a hub of innovation in primary healthcare nursing. I think the presence of our sponsors also reflect that recognition of nurses as innovators. And I again acknowledge our platinum sponsors, Complete Care, or Care Complete rather, Sequiris, the Department of Health, My, Re My Health Record, and the Immunisation Branch. And thank you to all our pre conference workshop partners. I also uh, want to acknowledge some absent friends today. Uh, Rosemary Bryant, uh, unfortunately, can't be with us today, um, but sends her, her best wishes. And Deborah Tons, the chief nurse, has been kidnapped and taken to Senate's estimates where she will be held there probably until 11 o'clock tonight. And she does send her best wishes for the conference. We are very fortunate to have two such very high profile high-profile nursing leaders uh, giving support to APNA. I'm proud to lead APNA as our profile continues to evolve into a flexible and nimble organisation. APNA as the peak body representing nurses in primary health care continues to support the primary health care nursing workforce with high quality professional development, advocacy and actively drive contemporary models in primary health care nursing. APNA will continue to forward focus and to help achieve our vision of health, uh, best health care through best practice primary health care nursing. So for the next two days, go forth, be noisy, network, visit the sponsors, have fun. I hope to see a few of you on the dance floor tonight and enjoy. Thank you.